podcast brought to you by Plain Stains and Things. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to shout out to Greg. Shout out to Mike. We got the stack jeans on deck. Sixty dollars a pop. You know what I mean? We got the skull Support shirt. Black business going up. You know what I'm saying? Look at how fresh that shirt is. That's a hard shirt right there. Don't you think? Yeah. Better than that shit you got on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's let's with let's, that being said, let's let's, let's talk about let's our talk, Lakers. Let's, let's talk about our Lakers. Oh, you want to talk Lakers first? Let's talk Lakers first. You want to talk Lakers first? Yeah. All right, let's talk Lakers first. This is that's, that's, that's good. That's good. Um, three game winning streak, albeit over some not so good teams, but we'll take it. Anthony Davis dominating. They Ant- said he couldn't do it no more. Hey, Anthony Davis. They, they being skipped. Hey, Anthony, said he couldn't no, do it no more. Said that. I said that. He's not playing to his capabilities of – he hasn't played like this since the 2020 season but he's and, pl- and in New Orleans. So, this he, is – He's playing like is, it now. This is – this is Three straight This is 30. the Anthony Davis that I know. This is the Anthony Davis that I can say that is better than Giannis without nobody looking at me crazy. This is – They still going to look you crazy. This is, this is the guy that we traded all the draft picks and mortgaged a lot of our future for. Mm-hmm. This, is, this is the guy. Mm-hmm. This is this is who we need him to be all season, the rest of the season. Mm-hmm. I agree night with that. Night in and night out. I agree with that. Even when LeBron gets back, uh, we still need AD to be this AD. The team needs to feed him the ball, not just in the first half, but in the second half, like they've been doing the past three games. And he still got it. He looks healthy. The back looks healthy. Um, he looks engaged. He looks like he he won it now. So. It's good. It's a good thing. The Lakers got a real test tonight against the Suns, even though the Suns down, you know, two starters and still no Jay uh, Jay Crowder. But you know, it's still a test. Uh, Jay Crowder won't be back. They no, I know he's not going to yeah. be back. They're going to trade him, but they still down Cam Johnson and Chris Paul. Right, 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 right. So even still, it's a test. You know, the Suns just beat the Warriors the other night. You know, without without Chris Paul, Cam Johnson. You know, they still winning games. So it's a test for the Lakers to see it's, if they really made some progress or was it just a product of the schedule? The same thing as with the Lakers and with Anthony Davis' production thus far. I think it's early in the season, so you can't really call call it as far as who's going to be what and who's going to do what. No, um, season's not even 20 games old. You know, right now the Clippers is trying to ease Kawhi back in and um, – Shout out to my boy Clay. He looked like big game play again, you know. Shout out to Ben Simmons. He looked like Ben Simmons again. Oh, now, 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 now. If only for a few games, but he it's looked been, like the, he been, looked like the guy that I I, I know. It's been one. Know, it's been one knows. game. Two. Okay, two. Um, just like we not going to jump back on the AD bandwagon yet. We got to see it consistently. Three games is you know not enough. Two games is not enough of Ben Simmons. Right. right, and they got Kyrie Irving back. You know the league let him come back and play. So maybe Brooklyn might actually put something together, go on a little run here, just like the Clippers are starting to do that. Like I figured they do. I figured the Clippers would at some point get it together, go on a little run, even though they just lost Paul George because he's gonna be out for a minute with that hamstring strain. Well, but that, that just know. means John Wall gonna get more minutes, so they might not miss too much. I doubt it because Ty Lue likes that little ugly ass nigga Reggie Jackson. I don't know what. The, what what's, <laughs> little Bobby Smarter looking man? ass what's, nigga man, no, like no, they no, like no. this nigga, hey, bro. You know what? <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna tell you something off camera. I ain't gonna say that right now because that would be very wrong. But um, right now the NBA is just it's, it's flux. You know, it's, it's touch and go. Mm-hmm. Everybody's finding themselves. I feel like within the next sixty days we'll know. I mean, yeah, like I said, the season's not even a quarter over yet. Like, we're still in the first quarter of the season. So, it's still still fresh. Teams are still figuring it, figuring stuff out. What do you think about the rookie down in Orlando, bro? I like that. I like that rookie. Yeah, That's a like Duke it. product. That's a like Duke it. product. Paolo Bancaro. He nice. Yeah, I like it. He nice. He's going to be a problem in this league. Like, majority of the big names that come out of Duke are Kyrie Irving. Jason Tatum. Hey, well, you know what? Brandon Ingram. You know what? You Zion know, you know what, Big, since you say that, this is, I, I wanna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> Those are all Duke guys. Wait, <laughs> they all you, a problem. You, hey, you, you absolutely right. They all a problem. But shout out to my OG, Lewis Hall. Um, 
you know, my former co coworker, me and him I used to have this conversation about Duke all the time. He used to be like, Duke niggas ain't nothing. He was like, he was like, Ingram is good, but he was like, name me a Duke player beside Grant Hill that was about something or didn't get injured or wasn't, wasn't, didn't live up to their potential. Since we on the subject of Duke. And I go for Bobby Hurley, Corey McGetty, and I can name go on and on a slew. Yeah, but you're talking slew, about a slew of a slew of Duke players. But you talking about role players? No, I'm just Shane talking about Batty, period, Shane Battier, period, period. Bobby Hurley, bro, those are Christian role players. Leitner. Christian Leitner, he didn't live up to his potential. I, yeah, but Corey McGetty wasn't a role player. He was. He was. Yeah, he wasn't a star. Like he wasn't a superstar like that. Let's not get it twisted. Uh, Corey McGetty was a role player that had good moments. He had one good game against Kobe Bryant. Thought he was the shit. Nah, bro, you a role player, dog. That I'm did that dumbass do, do, front flip do, do. in the dunk contest. Corey McGee's a role player. All right. Now, I, Elton, I, Elton Brand was not a role yeah. player. Another but product I, 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 I do. I, to, to, to my former coworker's point. Yeah, but a lot, a lot of, of them yeah, got, a lot injured, got injured or they didn't, or they didn't pan out. But it was a lot of people that when they were healthy, the Elton Brands, the Kyrie Irving, Zion, now, the Brandon jury is Ingram. Still out on Ingram no, it's not. Right, no, no, it's not. As far as as far as him being. The one Duke prospect right now that's not injury prone and is full of living up to his potential and don't have no controversies. I mean, that stuff happens, but as far I'm just talking about on the court talent. Yeah. yeah. There's more than just Brandon Ingram out of Duke that was that's been that. All right, within the last 10 years, since we're talking about Duke, within the last 10 years, Beside now, Ingram and beside Kyrie, you know who didn't live up to their, Zion, You know who ooh, did ooh, not live up to their potential ooh. out of Duke, Jaleel Okafor. The NBA changed. But don't, you're right. Don't matter. He didn't live up to his right. potential. The NBA he was the number three. The, the, he was the number three pick in the draft. We should have picked him, but that's another story for another day. This is, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not making no excuses. I'm not being biased of my opinion. I'm gonna just say that. The style of play that Jaheel Okapor has or had for the style of NBA that we're in is no longer throw the ball down to the post and feed the big man. But didn't he have a mid-range game? But he didn't he have a cat. mid-range game? He's shitting on cat. But didn't he have a mid-range game? It was cool. Okay, then. So mid-range. But that's not the reason. His offense is not the reason why he didn't pan out. He didn't pan out because he doesn't have a three-point shot. 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 He a three-pointer and he's a defensive line. He don't need, he don't need to have a three-pointer. If you're a big and can't shoot, you have no place in the league but to be tell, a rebounder tell that to, and tell to catch in the line. Tell that to Ivisa Zubac. Tell that to a, a tell, that to a, a tell that to Ivisa Zubac. He can't shoot threes, but he got a place in the league with the Clippers. Yeah. And he killing with the Clippers. He's not a three-point shooter. He got a mid-range. He got a post game. He played fundamentally. He doesn't he have a mid-range. He, he does, does not have a mid-range game. I've seen, seen him hit a 10 to 12-footer. Yeah, every now and then. That don't mean you got a mid-range game. I mean, you can hit a jumper every now and then. Anyway, back to our point. Name me beside Ingram. I just gave you names. J more. Jason more. Tatum. Jason Tatum, top five in the league right now. Yes, definitely. No injuries, above, no controversy. He's above, he's above Ingram. Been to the finals. Been to how many conference finals? Like, right now, he's the best player in the league out of Duke. Right now. Yes. Well, he's not, and it's not even close. Better than Zion. Better than Ingram. Better than Kyrie. Better than Zion, for sure. Like, it's not close. I'm not even. I'm an Ingram fan, but I'm not gonna argue he's better than better than he, he be better, better than Tatum. He better than all of them right now. So there, there, there's your Duke product. All right, that's what's up now. So <laughs> how about those Niners? Monday Night Football. I told you in the beginning of our podcast partnership that uh, Jimmy Garoppolo was that guy, and you can trust in him. The team loves him. Shout out to my mom, Ari. I told you in the comments, don't jump off the Jimmy G bandwagon just yet. You know why the 49ers look good last night? You know why they've been looking good the last three games? You know why they look good last night? You know why they've been looking good since your young draft pick that y'all drafted got hurt? Defense. I heard that. But there's a reason why they played their most complete game last night. He threw night. four you touchdowns were... last night. What did, what did he do? He threw four touchdowns. He what? Four touchdowns? Huh? He what? Four touchdowns? <laughs> don't even What did I say last week? Look, don't even get me started. What did I say last week? They needed to mix up the offense, right? Stop running on every goddamn play, right? Four touchdown passes. I saw a stat this morning. Ready for this? 
Just to let you know, just to back up what I be saying, because I don't be just be saying shit just to be saying shit. Yeah, yeah. George Kittle and Brandon Ayuk last night caught two touchdown passes a piece. You know the last time that happened, a 49er duo did that? When was that happening? 2000. Jerry Rice and Terrell Owens. All right, you know what? Pause right quick. This is a sidebar segue. And we're going to stay on topic, but this is a sidebar segue. To all my fans and all my haters out there, guess what? The same thing that Jimmy Garoppolo does, throw it to his skill players, and they do the rest. They get the rack, run after catch. They get the yak, yard after catch. It's the same thing that Travis wrong, Kelsey wrong, does wrong. every game, year in, year out. Get rack. It's the same thing. It's no difference. But it's the same thing. But, no difference. So Patrick Mahomes can't throw the ball down the field. Is that what you? Talk, is that what you're saying? Bowl, Jimmy Garoppolo outplayed him for three quarters, and, three and a half. And, actually, and when the game got on the line, the who, fuck, man. And when, and when, when the, the game, game got on the line, was the, on the Kansas line, City Chiefs as a team won. Patrick Mahomes had nothing to do with that. He never has nothing to do. You're with You're crazy. That's why he won Super Bowl MVP. They won the Super Bowl. He won MVP. Number 26, the running back should have won the MVP. Well, number 15 won the MVP. I just wanted to say that. I don't want to get on my homes. We all know how. Right, because the they 8-2. and two, they the best team in the AFC. I just want to make a parallel of the, Jimmy Garoppolo throws the ball short or these little punk-ass plays to his skill Patrick position Ma- players. Patrick Mahomes Kittles, doesn't do that. McCaffrey, Debo, and they do the rest. Patrick Mahomes doesn't do that. Only with Travis so, Kelsey, but the rest of these receivers, they run past the defender, and Patrick Mahomes throws the ball to him. I heard that. Right there. And rack and yank. No. Not no with, windows. Not with, not with his no rec- dissecting you're the cra- defense. You're crazy. No reading the defense. You're crazy. No throwing a guy open. You're crazy. What the fuck, man? You're crazy. That's just hate talking. Nah. That's 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 not legit. I seen better. It is better in the NFL right now, but I don't want to talk about who. We're gonna talk about no, 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 no. We'll get back to the 49ers in a minute. Who? Josh. Wrong. Herbert. Wrong. Rodgers. Wrong. Brady. Wrong. And I rest my case. Wrong. Aaron Rodgers is not better than Patrick Mahomes right now. Josh Allen is not better than Patrick Mahomes right now. I don't think Patrick Mahomes has ever lost to Josh. No, he lost to him once. Once. But he damn sure outplayed Justin Herbert. He damn sure outplayed Justin Herbert Sunday night. Uh, he outplayed him Sunday night. The Chargers was supposed to win that game. But they left Patrick Mahomes Sunday night. The Chargers was supposed to win that game. But they left Patrick Mahomes too much time. You know what? I got a metaphor for Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes is no different than someone I might have grew up with or, or, or someone somebody grew up with who comes from an affluent background. And they're as successful as their background. They're as successful as the sum of parts around them. They're I mean, actually, you got to actually. They're actually not skilled. They're actually not talented. But they're you gotta actually, got to have parts. The product of the you sum have of to the have parts, parts around, around you to be successful. Reason, he's just a guy. You got to have parts around you to be successful. Look at Aaron Rodgers. Okay. I just heard Michael Vick talking to Kyle Herb yesterday, and he said he made light of Andy Reid. Shady McCoy made a light of Andy Reid yesterday. Andy Reid is the reason. I have I say it again. Whether it was Corey Detmer, Kevin Cobb, Foles, Vic, Smith, whoever, all the fucking quarter McNabb, they all have the best numbers of their career because of his influence, because he's been a quarterback coach. He's been an offensive coordinator. He is the puppet master. Andy Reid has one Super Bowl ring, right? Right? Where are you going with this, bro? You know where I'm going with this. Andy Reid has one Super Bowl ring, right? Okay. No, Matt, no, no, Matt no, 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 no. Yes or no? Yes or no answer? Yes or no answer? Andy Reid has one Super Bowl ring, right? Yeah, he does. Who is his quarterback? I wait. I guess, man. No, tell them, tell them who his quarterback was. Since you're talking about Corey Detmer hey, and Mike Vick and team, Donovan the, the McNabb Reed, and, 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 and the, the, Alex the Smith team, and all these other hey, people that paid for Andy Reid, who was Andy Reid's quarterback when he the won team, the Super Bowl? The team Bro, that Andy Reid won the Super Bowl with answer the question. had Tyreek Hill, the fastest who was the quarterback? in NFL history. Who was the quarterback? Has who was the quarterback? Travis Kelsey. Who was the quarterback? So on and so forth. Who was the quarterback? The, the honey badger on defense. Who was the quarterback? The enemy on offensive coordinator. Who was the quarterback? Andy Reed, 
Look at all the shit that I just named that this guy has. And you still so not, not going to You still not answering the question. No it's, Who it's, was the quarterback? It's, 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 it's you guys want to keep talking about how great same, Mahomes is. He had those same Let's talk about Alex Smith had those same weapons. Everything that he had, and, and they kept going to the playoffs. It was viable. No, no, no. They didn't make it to the Super Bowl. They never made it to the AFC Championship game. Bro. Patrick Mahomes since he's been a starter and been the four straight AFC Championship games. I, 2007, I remember, I think it was when the Chiefs played the Colts. They were blowing the Colts out, and they had a whole bunch of fucking injuries on the offensive and defensive side, and that's the reason why they fucking lost the game. You're not going to play that play. Patrick play Mahomes wouldn't have lost gonna, that game. You're not going to play that blame game. Patrick Mahomes would not have lost that of, game. Of Alex Smith. Patrick Mahomes would Patrick not have Mahomes lost that game. Patrick Mahomes the fucking bum. A, a bum with a ring. A bum. A bum with a, a ring. A bum with a ring. The fuck? A bum with a ring. He's a fucking bum. A bum with, with a ring. With, with an all star coach. Bum, a and bum all these extra with a ring. Parts around he's him. A and you want to keep telling me I he's, he's a great. A bum with How a is ring. He great? He a bum Put with a ring. Put him on the Jacksonville Jaguars or the Bears or the, or the Texans. Or one of these sorry ass teams. If you put him on, the, what he does. If you put him on the Bears, Nothing. they you put him on the Bears. He might have them in the playoffs. The fuck? Because they got talent on offense. Fucking Cam Newton carried the the Panthers to the to the to the Super Bowl and then by bitched, and then bitched with up. nothing and then bitched with up no with nobody with so, nothing. So we bragging. So don't give me no so fucking we're bragging Patrick Mahomes. So we're bragging about getting to the Super Bowl. That's what that's what we doing now. I thought it was about winning. Well, I remember. I thought it was about winning the, the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. That Patrick Mahomes won. He played like stir fry dog boo boo. It still got MVP. The whole fucking it game. It still got MVP. The running back should have got the it's motherfucking still, MVP. It still and got the only MVP. Like, didn't get the MVP is the quarterbacks always get the MVP. That's not true. That is definitely not true. Just like the quarterback always get the league MVP for the most part. For the most part, yeah. I'll, it's I'll an agree with that. There. But but the quarterback don't always get Super Bowl MVP. Let's not get sidetracked, tell, tell, man. No, we, we on the subject. Come, I, I don't, How I don't, are we getting sidetracked? We on the subject. You calling a champion a bum. You calling an MVP a bum. You calling the quarterback. Trent Dilfer is a champion. Trent Brad Dilfer Johnson is a champion. Those are product of guys who had Jeff defenses Hostel and champion. running games around them. Kansas City ain't never had a top-notch defense like that or a top-notch running game. Ever. At least with Mahomes. Like, you just give the man the credit. He won a Super Bowl with his arm. Hey, I'm going to make it. I'm not going to give you no quotables today for Jay-Z, but I'm going to speak on Jay-Z, right? Andy Reid is Dame Dash. He makes the show go. Mahomes may be Jay-Z. I got a, I got a Jay-Z. He may be Jay-Z. I got a Jay quotable but for so you. But so what? I got a Jay quotable Who for you. Who put the shit together? I got a Jay quotable. How did Rockefeller ran because of Dame Dash? I got a Jay quote. The Chiefs run because of fucking Andy Reid. I got a Jay-Z quote for you since you want to go there. You ready for this one? I heard motherfuckers saying they made hove. Made hove say, okay, so make another hove. All right. To you, <laughs> to all these people out here watching me. To all these fucking punk ass the people fuck on all here, these networks man. talking all this shit about the this bum ass quarterback, here, right? Man. Where was this at when he was in college? When they was talking about Baker Mayfield and they was talking about um, Lamar and they was talking about everybody else but him. It's the reason why the Chiefs drafted Patrick Mahomes from Texas Tech. Yeah, That's all I'm saying. It's the reason why. That's all I'm saying. It's the reason when, why. When they could have took, when he when first, they took the somebody link, else. When Tyreek Hill took said somebody when he else. first saw him, he said, oh, I thought this was garbage. Uh-huh. The nigga threw four picks yep. in motherfucking practice. Yep. That's, he, a, that's bum status. Now we talk about. That it, backyard boogie. Now we talk about interceptions in practice. Fucking backyard <laughs> boogie, weak-ass <laughs> bullshit. We talk about interceptions in practice. We talk about practice. Not a game. Not a game. We talk about practice. We talk about practice, man. man. Not the game that this man went out and won MVPs in in a Super Bowl ring. We talk about practice. Explain Franchi to me franchise why quarterback, franchise quarterback, franchise quarterback, and everybody else and we talk keep about annoying practice, and crowning man. this fucking bum, and you don't want to give Hill no credit. We talk Kelsey about Kelsey no credit, the coaching staff no credit, the Dude, other players I on the team said, credit. I just said you need talent. All around I talk you. about is Patrick Mahomes. You need talent He's around nothing. you to win. Everybody needs talent around them to win. Ask Aaron Rodgers. Look at the Packers right now with no talent. They're four and seven. Last year they had a top flight receiver and won 13 games. So no, I'm not dismissing Tyreek Hill and McCole Hartman and Travis Kelsey and, and Clyde Juju Edwards Hilaire. And everybody else. First of all, Juju Smith. Kareem is, Hunt and Juju everybody Smith else just contributed to this man's success. Of, Juju Smith is overrated as fuck. Let's not talk about him. I'm talking about in the, in the role they got him playing in. 
still sucks. He's the number two. He's still number two. He should be in number one. That's not the point I'm making. The I'm point saying, I'm making is, is that you, his skill you're position calling players, the guy. I've been standing for the last five years. His skill position players and the coaching make up, make him. Without them, it will be no Patrick Mahomes. So he wouldn't be a quarterback in his league without those guys? Is that what you're telling Bitch. me? That what you're telling me? Bum. If Justin, Garbage. If Justin, under my shoe. if Justin Fields could do what he's doing in Chicago, you think Patrick Mahomes can't do that? He's a fucking bum. You're fucking crazy. Fucking bum. You're crazy. That's a hater talking right there. Fucking bum. Yeah, bum. Give, I a give credit where credit is due. Give credit where I credit give the is Kansas due. Kansas City Chiefs this organization is, and the Hunt family, owner of the Chiefs, credit. The I same, can't read credit. The same Chiefs, I the same credit. Chiefs I organization that didn't win. With the Chiefs organization they had, ever if so if all with the Chiefs organization credit. The same, I give him nothing. The same Chiefs organization that didn't win nothing. When's the last time the Chiefs won a Super Bowl before Patrick Mahomes? I'll 1969. Wait. How long ago was that? So what? But there, but the, but you give credit to the organization. You need a quarterback no to, to lead you to a I championship. Give it to Hill. I give it to Kelsey. You whack as fuck for that. That's trash. That's a trash take. Hey. Just say you I don't stand, like. I stand just, behind. Just it. say you don't like him. I don't like Patrick Mahomes. All right, we get that. But to call him a bum, that's crazy. He's a bum. That's and Kaepernick crazy. is a fucking bum too. That's crazy. And anybody else to replace that's Alex Smith crazy. is a fucking bum too. Alex Smith ain't great. He ain't great. I don't want to talk about it. He Smith. ain't great. He better than those two bums. No, he not. That's why he got replaced. I'm not going. I'm as a coach. I'm not going to replace somebody. With someone that's not better than them, I'm not gonna do that. If it's a personal thing, yeah, it's not per. It, 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 it wasn't personal. Better check. It wasn't personal. That is not. No, and, and no, he replaced him with no, Brady. No, no, no. If you no, read the experts, no, no. he said, "I thought that guy was an asshole." You okay, like the 2001 season they they played they they played the, they coached and played together in the 2000. Okay, season, and, and they went five and eleven. And Bessel got hurt. Would you would you expect? You expect when him? the starter comes back, the fucking bum goes back to the bench. So Tom Brady's a bum? Does that make him a bum? Because seven Super Bowl rings says otherwise. Hey, Spygate and the tuck rule says the, 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 the legend of Tom Brady would not exist. All Captain right, so, America would all not right, exist. So let's take off Spygate and let's take off um, 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 the tuck rule. That still leaves five rings. Explain those. All right. What you mean five rings? He got seven. Explain the other five. Take those two off and explain the other five. You know what? You and other people I know may call me a hater. You but are. I don't got to believe you what are. everybody else believes. I don't got to fucking like what everybody else likes. You don't have I don't to. Like but you the give credit where credit is like. due. I don't got to give credit nowhere credit where credit is due. If I think somebody is a fucking bum and a product of their environment and not actually good, I should be able to say that. You should be able to say that, but at the end of the day, like I said, facts is facts. The man got a Super Bowl. They got Super Bowl rings. That's what it's about in okay, the NFL. The team winning the Super got Bowl. Super Bowl rings. Yeah, the team. Not that individual. But what do you? So, so they don't have. They don't get rings for winning. The team got it. Stop. So let's, let's, let's. What do you mean the team got stop, it? Bro. If the team, no, the team gets a trophy. The team gets a trophy. Individuals get rings. I feel it, bro. The team gets a banner, trophy. Individuals, ring. I don't buy into the motherfucking manipulation and mind control of the media and the agenda of trying to push who they want to promote. The media makes or breaks people's careers. So at the end of the fucking day, if you allow it, at the end of the day, the media tried to break Kobe. People can call me a hater. The people, the but media I tried to underdog. The media I love tried to break to Kobe. Earn it. I love people to actually. So, oh, now work they didn't hard. earn it. Now I they don't work hard. I love people to actually deserve their motherfucking position. Deserve the wow. motherfucking hype. Wow. So now they didn't work hard. So now they didn't earn it. Now somebody that they force feeding oh, okay. and, and, and jamming okay. down everybody throat right. and anointing and telling me that this person's great, but they're not really great. All right. So like Tom Brady. So Tom Brady's not. So Tom Brady. So they're not great. People in my lifetime. We know Tebow's not great. The fact that you comparing Tim Tebow to those other two, like you should lose all credibility to talk sports I right should. now. Yeah, I put them Tim in the same Tebow, category. Tim Tebow, three of the most overrated, Tim overhyped, get the athletes wow. ever in the history Tim, of fucking sports. Tim Tebow, 
in the same category Hype. as Hype. Patrick Mahomes Hype. and Tom Brady. Hype. Hype. Wow. 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 Fucking force feeding shit wow. down your throat. Wow. They, wanna, they, they, they got all the kind of analysts hey. out here saying, oh, Tom Brady is the greatest ever. You Tom Brady is the greatest ever. That's bullshit. Joe Montana is the greatest. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, you know, Joe Montana was a product of the system too. Like, granted, Joe Montana is a great quarterback, but Joe Montana also played in the great system with Bill Walsh. Joe Montana took the Kansas City Chiefs within a few plays of the Super Bowl. That, that's not good enough. He won four. That's not the point of what he I'm won to four say. with San Francisco. He went and played well elsewhere, so he wasn't a product of the system. Tom Brady they went to one of the West, okay, the West Coast offense. and Tom Brady went to Tampa Bay and won and a Super Bowl. And he had Antonio Brown and Gronk so, and this and that so, and that and this and no, this and that. Now like you, I said about why, LeBron, but you're moving the goalposts. But the you're Avengers moving go, and you're the, the, the goalposts, bro. And the whole fucking you're body moving the goalposts for you to win. You're moving the goalposts. You just said Joe Montana went elsewhere and proved that he could win. Right. Tom Brady went elsewhere right. and won a Super Bowl. All he had was Tony Gonzalez. Does, he went. Tom Brady went elsewhere and won a Super Bowl. Yes, and you know what he but said. He I went somewhere. Gronk, but he I went. Won't. Okay. I won't. Okay. This, I want that. You got to that. Do what you got to do to no, win. No, if you great, go do win. You, do what you got to do win. to win. He did. If you're a great cook, he went to a whole nother team and won. You gotta make with what you got. He went to a whole nother team and won. I know. Look at Matthew Stafford. He's a perfect example in Detroit. Outside he's a of good quarterback, outside of Detroit, he's not great, but he's listen. Good. In Detroit, outside of Calvin Johnson, was good there. listen to what I'm saying. In Detroit, you talk about needing talent around you to win. In Detroit, outside of Calvin Johnson, he didn't have no fucking talent. Therefore, they did not they win. They had a few talented players. They, they, didn't, they didn't have enough. They, they didn't have they enough. Had Reggie Bush. They, they had Golden Tate. In Detroit, yeah, they did. They didn't have enough talent to win. Detroit never made the what they made the playoff one time with Matthew Stafford, and I think that year they lost to Dallas. He come to he come to L.A. He come to L.A. He got all this talent: Robert Woods, Cooper Cup, uh, Tyler Higby, Van Jefferson. They lose Robert Woods, but then they go out and get Odell Beckham. He got all this talent. Guess what? I just say he was the reason they won. But you keep talking. But you effort. keep talking like it's a bad thing to need talent around you to win. It is a bad thing. How is it if a bad thing? That's stupid say, as shit. It's not, How is that a bad if thing? You want to say somebody great and give them all the credit? In sports, you need talent around you to win. Yeah. I don't give a fuck how great you are. Golf is the only thing. That golf is golf and tennis. That's it. You don't need talent around you to win because that's a one person sport. Unless you playing co doubles competition in tennis. But my point Dwight is. Howard, in 2009, by himself, by took himself. a bunch of role players Rashard Lewis, to the finals. Rashard Lewis wasn't took on that team. Took a bunch of role players Rashard to the Rashard Lewis finals. wasn't on that team. Allen Iverson he took a bunch of role players to the finals. Allen Iverson took the sixth man of the year, the, the uh, defensive player of the year to the finals. Let's talk about it. Dwight Howard had Rashard Lewis, Hedu Turkoglu, Jameer Nelson, Rafer Austin, Courtney Lee, Michael P. Jason Kidd took a bunch of nobodies to the fucking final. Jason Kidd had King and Barton, Richard Jefferson, a healthy Kerry Kittles. In the grand scheme of things, who are they? Role players that's needed around you. Talented guys that's needed around you. You remember the white boy on that Nets team since you want to talk about it named Keith Van Horn? He was actually healthy and good then. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Those weren't bums, bro. The reason why the Nets didn't win because they went up against the most dominant player ever. And the second greatest two guard ever. Nobody's beating those guys unless it's the Pistons who had a plan so to beat did them. Elon Manning had a star receiver. He had credible receivers. Who? Toxical Burris that not credible? Mario uh, Manning. Hey, hey, Mar hey, my Mario bad. Manning my, him my not credible. Flex. My bad Bro, flex. do your homework, my man. Flex. My bad flex. I you can't hit me with I that forgot. kind of bullshit, no, I bro. About flex. It's not about that. Mario Manningham was that. credible. But at the end of the day, David Tyree wasn't credible. He just of, made a hell of a catch. Level, it's flexed on the level of Kelsey. It's flexed on the level of Hill. Eli Manning got them a ring, didn't he? You missing the whole And point. he beat the greatest team. You're missing the point the of even what bringing you, them up. What do you mean? The point of me even bringing them up is he didn't have an all-star squad. But he had talent around him. On defense, him. they had an all-star squad. But he had talent around him enough on offense to win. 
Of my Bradshaw, what, what was Did it that they the running back in the league and the fastest receiver in the league? He didn't need it, but they were good enough. Did he actually have an offensive play calling coach? No, Coughlin is a defensive coach. But they had so a good en- the they, had, they had a good enough offense. I feel it. You telling me those guys on the Giants offense that year were bums? They were serviceable. Not bums, not bad, not good, serviceable. They were good enough good to enough. win. They were good enough to win a Super Bowl. To me, that put you they in a hole. They scored 17 points. And they defense shut down the greatest regular season team ever. 1972 Dolphins would be that. No, the 1972 Dolphins are the greatest team ever because they finished the job. I said regular season team. Kind of like the Golden State Warriors. Greatest regular season team ever. But the Bulls are the greatest team ever because they finished the job. It's about finishing the job, bro. Yeah, undefeated, untied. You tripping, dog. Hey, man, I don't see it. I don't see it. Like, they didn't even talk about Andrew Luck like they talk about Mahomes. And Andrew Luck is way better than Mahomes. Way better. I think you gotta find him. Andrew Hope, and Andrew Luck never played in the in the in the in the AFC. Of every era Fuck man, dude, are you serious? Be on the head. It's Floyd Mayweather. It was Kobe at one point. Was <laughs> Kobe at one time? Not Patrick Mahomes. You know, hey, I just explained it to you, bro. Exactly. No, my it, own LeBron person. James more than Kobe. I don't, yeah, feel like, <laughs> he I don't, hate LeBron. I don't feel like. The niggas need to sit up here and try to force feed some shit to me and tell me that this person is great. But you see the greatness. First and foremost, you see I have the my greatness. own opinion. Second and foremost, if a nigga is great because of a reason and not because he's actually great. So Patrick Mahomes is not great. That's what you're saying. None whatsoever. All right. Unequivocally, absolutely not. And neither Indubitably. Is Le- and neither is LeBron, huh? Why is everyone so enamored with oh. someone that's 6'8 and 6'9? <laughs> Carl Malone's side that can dribble. So fucking what? Can Car- was Carl Malone able hey, to dribble? Hey, guess what? Your was cousin Car- Mike Wiles is 6'9 and can dribble. I know Mark that. Mark is 6'9 and can dribble. I know that. So fucking what? What that mean? It- Nobody give a fuck about that shit, man. Hey, guess what? LeBron made it to the league. You give a fuck about none of that shit. LeBron made it to the league. 6'9, fast as fuck, can dribble, high ass IQ, athletic as shit, and got four rings. With three different franchises. How do you hey, hate on and that? And he's down with the click. And he wear pedal pushers. Pause. What they got to do with his basketball game? No, I've had time to look. What, what they to, got to, to do with to, his basketball hey, game? I've, I've had time. We, we talk about, hey, we, hey, hey, we talk about time, what he wear I've, I've now? Had, I've had time to, we talk to, about to what sit he wear back now? and evaluate and learn how to hit niggas with the one-two. Are we, talk, Duke and, are we talking about what he wear now? So... You sound now like these you sound like have to riddle and decode what I'm saying. You sound like Cameron talking about Jay Z. Oh, he on the island wearing flip flops. Who gives a fuck? Hey man, who gives a shit? That man on the you want him to be on island wearing Timberlands like Patrick Beverly? Hey man, you know what? <laughs> a lot of my older black people hated him, but I feel like Archie Bunker. Man, those were the days. When girls was girls and men's was men's. We not gonna get into that. We no. talk. We talking sports. We not gonna get we into that. We are talking sports. That ain't got nothing to do with sports. What you Niggas just said. Niggas is soft, goo. <laughs> Niggas, I ain't said nothing about. I, I ain't said nothing about nothing else. You said when girls was girls and men was men. They ain't got nothing to do I, with I sports, know. bro. I'm talking about sports. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You can mean it however you want to mean it. <laughs> yeah, all right. You know, we got freedom of speech, but you got to okay. watch how you say your okay. freedom of speech. All right. You know, email, female, female, email. Patrick Mahomes is great. We'll leave it at that. The birds are flying higher than the birds are scrolling explain up. Explain to the world why you're wearing that ugly ass hoodie. You see it. <laughs> no. I can let me get my Oakland on one Cause, time. Because last week you was on Dak Prescott's <laughs> no. head. You hated hey. Dak Prescott last week. Hey, this don't say Dak Prescott on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. He had a good game. So did Tony Pollard. He uh, had another a guy good game. You, another no. guy you hate on. Guess what? It, Tony Pollard. Who he, I told you is better than Zeke he, right now. He had a good game. Who, he, he is not an every down back. He better than Zeke. He is a cold splitter type back. He better than Zeke. Faster, more hey, elusive. Who gives a fuck about fast? Fast don't matter now. I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> fast don't I matter I give a fuck now. about the star, the man. Oh, you the give a fuck egg. about the star, the man. I give a fuck about the nigga who set the table. That's not Zeke or Elliot. You know what? 
while, while we while we own that game, while you talking about Minnesota was super is, elite, regardless of what you say, the Ohio State's freaky Zeke until they cut him, fell until off, they get off the team, fell off, fell off. Man, All right, let's see. 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 let us see all right. We talking about goal line touchdowns? <gasps> Pollard putting up the Check numbers. This out. At USC, my nigga Lindell got all the work. Yeah, Bush got the flashiness. He got all the highlights. But who got all the work? Who did most of the work? Who did most of the heavy lifting? They both did. I can tell by that comment you didn't watch those games. They I both did. all the games. No, you didn't. Because if, if you games. did, you would know they both did the heavy lifting. Thunder and lightning? They both did. Matter of fact, oh, I got another time when Lindell White was doing all the groundwork with Chris Henry. When he thunder and lightning over there in Tennessee when Vince Young was playing. Who got who who, who did most of that lifting? Lindell White? No, Henry did. The battering ram. No, Henry did. He got the style points. Y2K. That's why he got the nickname. He got the style points. Lindell White was a role player. He got the style points. He got all the points. Whatever you say. You think I didn't follow Lindell White's career? Whatever, whatever you say. He's a role player. His so, whole career. And so is Mayweather really tough? Or is the guys that he's paying to be his bodyguards is protecting him tough? So Mayweather not tough now. I ain't said that. I'm saying. So he's not he tough, tough now. I'm not saying that. God guarantee you, I'm if, not, he, if not, he ran into a nigga on the street that, that ran up not, on him, he'll punch his ass out. Not even just him. Any celebrity. Is that person tough? Or is their bodyguard that they're paying to protect them tough? So God, so you telling me guys are soft now, basically. The body why would you have a bodyguard the, the, if you're not soft? To keep motherfuckers from running up on you. That's why you have bodyguards. Not because you're some kind of punk. I heard that. You know why you need bodyguards? To keep what from what the fuck happened on Crenshaw and Flossing on March 31st, 2019 from happening. That's why you need I heard, bodyguards. I heard that. To keep what happened over there at that fucking Roscoe's from happening. That's why you need bodyguards. Hey, to quote your boy, protect yourself. To keep at what all the time. fuck happened at that Airbnb from happening. That's why you need bodyguards. Not because you some, some kind of punk. We live in the to purge. To keep motherfuckers we, hey, from running up on you. We live in the purge. We live in the twenty two the twenty twenty two annual Hunger Games. Nigga, if you if you gotta pay another nigga to just, protect you, and nigga, guess what? How many rappers, how many niggas you know that the nigga that's protecting them? Then sneak them on the slide and they the ones and got the niggas set up to get robbed. That's a whole nother situation, but that don't mean you don't need niggas to watch your back when you out doing shows and promotions and shit like that. Hey, and God we trust. I'm sure those people trust in God too. But when you that was at a play on the, words, but, but I didn't mean you, it that you, way. When you, you know. when you at that level, when you at that level, you need protection. I know. It don't mean you not tough. It just means you need protection. If one nigga run up on you, you can protect yourself with one nigga if they ain't got no weapon. All right, let's get down. But hey, if four, if you, five if, motherfuckers if, if, is coming if, up to you, if you then you your, need bodyguards. If, if you got your, if you, if you are protected as you should be, then you know. Like the only thing that a bodyguard comes in handy for is, hey, now he did it. He shot that nigga. I ain't do it. I don't know what happened. That's a fall guy. That's the only thing that since we, is, since we since we talk in sports, Brian Robertson from the Commanders. You think what happened to him happens if he had bodyguards with him? Exactly. I can't. I can't. Exactly. You got exactly I, you got other situations like Sean Taylor, his own people robbed him. Yeah, his own people. Well, not his own bodyguards, his own people. I feel it. Gotta protect the asset. Gotta protect the asset. You kill the head of the snake, the body gonna fall. I heard that. I'm just saying. <laughs> but you want to get back on your Cowboys? Protect your, yourself and, and, at all times, America. And your Minnesota Vikings? We living in the purge. And how Kirk Cousins got exposed? It's not a movie. It's not. It's real life. Hey, Kirk but Cousins didn't get exposed. Kirk, they, had a, they had a game against a better team. 
These guys. They got their ass whooped. They got their ass whooped. Wizard, yeah. Forty to three. I mean, the Cowboys ain't that much better than the Vikings. I expected us to win. I didn't expect us to win like that. Exactly my point. But our pass rush is Minnesota like that. got exposed. But our pass rush is Vi- like that though. The Vikings got exposed. Kirk Cousins is not that guy. You know, I heard another interesting stat too. Since you want to talk about how the Vikings are that team, I didn't say that. You did. I said that you did. The yes, you did. Don't need to get on. No, you said Minnesota is that team. They Kirk are. Kirk Cousins is they, that guy. This Kirk year. Cousins is great. They're All this and that, they're and they eight and two year. with a negative point differential. I feel it, bro. How does that happen? You know if you're if, great, you know, you know a fan is sure a fanatic. How, how does that so happen? It's an individual great? taste, and it's an individual perspective. Some people skew the numbers or skew the that facts. That is skewed numbers. That's no. facts. But negative eight, point eight, differential. Eight. But you eight and two. The great that Bill means you're, That means you're winning you close games your against your. Says. So they are eight and two. Yeah, they're not a good eight and two. They're eight and two, but I don't believe. So that means that, I don't believe in them. That means I don't eight, believe in them. I don't believe in the Chiefs. The Chiefs are eight and two. The Chiefs are every bit of eight and two. They're gonna get when when the Chiefs beat you. They beat you. They're gonna fucking get whacked in the fucking in the playoffs. By who? Buffalo, Tennessee, Miami, Baltimore. The Buffalo Bills, the Tennessee Titans. You know. Okay. You know what? At this no Patrick Mahomes got more more at this point rings than them. At this at this point. (laughs) At this point. It's been proven, you know. Oh, man. Like I said, you want to keep bringing me Patrick Mahomes, and like I said, you don't want to give credence to all the shit that he got going around him. Like, hey, how shout was, out, how shout was, out to Travis how, Kelsey. How was Bruce Wayne able to fucking become Batman because he was a billionaire and he was able to have the fucking money and the prerequisite funds to come up with all this Wakanda ass technology that he had? Same shout, thing with Tony Stark. Shout out to what Travis the fuck Kelsey. Would they be without their money and their, and their financial resources. Juju Smith Schuster and McCole Hartman. Shout and out to Kareem Hunt. Shout out to everybody that fucking Kareem, made this nigga Kareem famous. Hunt, Kareem Hunt doesn't play for the Chiefs anymore, so we're not going to talk about him. Shout out to Clay I said Edwards everybody that made this nigga shout famous. Shout out to the rookie running back that's making a name for himself. Shout out to the Chiefs defense. Adam, you know, Andy shout Reed, out to Honey Badger. Eric B. Enemy. Shout out to all those guys. But if they don't have Patrick Mahomes. Shout out Holmes, to Andy Reed's son that's in prison right now. They don't have, he was also on that Super Bowl they don't Bowl have Patrick Mahomes, they don't have a banner hanging in Arrowhead Stadium because Alex Smith would not have taken those guys to the Super Bowl. That's your opinion. That's a fact because it that's didn't your, happen. That's your opinion. That's a fact because it that's didn't your, happen. That's your opinion. But why it didn't it, happen because – you want to know why come, they got rid of Alex Smith? Here excuse. You want to know why they got rid of Alex Smith? No, I want to know why Alex Smith didn't no, take them to the Super Bowl. I want to know why Alex Smith didn't That's take them to the Super Bowl. Because they got to the point where it was time to pay Alex Smith the money. They had oh the bum-ass Mahomes. Oh they had the bum-ass Mahomes. Mahomes who was for the cheap. Jesus and they traded him to the Christ. real space. Jeez. It had nothing to do with having it to pay, pay Alex it Smith. Was, it was money time. It wasn't it was money, money time. time. It was time to do the money dance. Really? You going to pay an older quarterback money? It was money? time to do the money dance. You going to pay an older quarterback that kind of money? No. He didn't get the job done. Plain and simple. I can't say that I like fucking Mahomes because I would be acting <laughs> like Charles Bronson. <laughs> You're not going to fucking feed me bullshit and tell me that it's motherfucking real. You're not going to tell me fried ice cream exists. We don't have to feed you bullshit. You saw it. You're not going to tell it. me the boogeyman is you real. You saw it. No. You never I seen it. I saw the Chiefs you never seen as a the record, boogie- stable, record you never label, seen- the staff, and the crew. You never seen the boogeyman, but you saw Patrick Mahomes win the Super nah, Bowl. Nah, I saw Andy Reid win the Super Bowl, and I saw the rest of his teammates win the Super Bowl. So you didn't see that quarterback win the Super Bowl? He was a part of it. Oh, but... but- so why can, so why can't he get credit for the being caboose a caboose is on the train? So why can't he get the credit for being is a, on the train? If the Cowboys win the Super Bowl, are you gonna give Dak Prescott credit for being a part of that? Are you gonna give Tony Pollard credit I'm for being a part of that? I'm gonna say he's a part. Of, he's a, 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 a winning quarterback on the winning team. He's not the reason. So Patrick Mahomes is not a winning quarterback on the on the winning team. He's he, not the reason. Is he a winning quarterback on the winning team? <laughs> he's gonna make me go earth when the fire. He's not the reason. Is he a winning quarterback on the, the winning team? Is he a winning quarterback the on the winning team? 
You see how he keep ducking and dodging. I'm not. He's not the reason. He is won. He, he's is a winning he, Super Bowl quarterback, but he's not the reason. Is he a winning quarterback on a winning team? It's a simple yes or Bro, no answer. Stop trying to convince me that it's fucking Sunday and it's fucking Tuesday. Why you can't answer the question? He's a Super Bowl winning quarterback. You just heard me say that. But he's not the reason. End of, end of discussion. He's not the reason. End of discussion. He's a Super Bowl winning quarterback. And they're a Super end Bowl the, winning organization. He's not the reason. And he's a part of that Super Bowl winning organization. End of discussion. At my home, asshole is at a part home, of my body. At home, in his trophy case, there is a Super Bowl ring. At home, in his trophy case, there is an MVP trophy. Or keys to a car that they give you. Whatever the fuck they do when you win MVP of the Super Bowl. It's at Patrick Mahomes' house. My feces is a part of my body before it I is. release them. It is. He's fucking a piece of shit. Okay. A piece of shit with a ring. Give a fuck about that, nigga. The difference between him and your feces is he's a piece fuck of shit him. with a ring. Your feces is just hey, a piece of is, shit. But, hey, they're, they, they have a ring. And so does he. He's a part of they. Like I said, teams win trophies. Teams hang banners. Individuals get rings. Patrick Mahomes got one. I know, and so do Brad Johnson yep. and Trent because he was Because they were part of a winning team. And Jeff Hostel. Because they were part of a winning team. And Joe Fluco. And none of those guys have been league MVPs. None of them. Coming from the same guy who said quarterbacks win league MVPs all the time. How come Hosteller don't got one? Or Flacco. Or Johnson. Or Dilfer. Because they didn't have Or Kelsey, Alex Smith. Or Hill. Or Hunt. Or, or Al any of the other guys. Or, Alex or, Smith or, or, did. Or Shady McCoy. Alex Smith or did. Or any of the other guys. Alex Smith did. I feel you, bro. And what MVP he got? I'll wait. I'll let you think about that one. Alex Smith was relevant in college. What MVP he got? Alex Smith was what the number MVP one he draft got? pick. What MVP he got? Who was Patrick Mahomes in college? What MVP Alex Smith got? What what, what MVP? Without what MVP, MVP? I don't give a fuck about that. Yes, he threw do. thirteen interceptions. And what in that MVP season? What MVP does Alex Smith have? He stole Drew Brees MVP. What MVP does he Alex threw Smith have? Forty interceptions. What? Forty touchdowns and nine interceptions. You're not answering the question. What MVP? I don't Alex care about that. Oh. He threw 13 interceptions. And he still won MVP. Double digit interceptions is still, never good. And he still won MVP. I feel it. And you want to talk about Alex Smith being a number one pick? Hey. Let's talk about Alex hey, Smith American. being a number one pick. Hold he on, no, no, no. Hey, let's hey, talk about it. He want to take my top back like let's JFK talk, let's talk on the anniversary of fucking JFK. Let's hey. talk about MVP. I mean, number one pick, Alex Smith. I'll be the first person to tell you San Francisco made a mistake. My 49ers made a mistake. Taking Alex Smith number one because you know who came out number twenty four in that draft? Aaron I don't fucking fuck. Rodgers. And he sat on the bench three years. And and he got more. Was he, was he ready? Was he born ready? Aaron Rodgers got more was MVPs. He, before? Hey, oh. he got more MVPs and more rings than Alex Smith. It doesn't matter. He sat on the bench he got for more, three years. He got more playoff Did wins. Alex Smith get to sit he got on the more bench playoff years and learn from a legend. He got more playoff wins. He got I don't better care numbers. About none of that. That's he got your all opinion. That. He, that's a fact. Look it up. That's Google your opinion. it. That's, that's a your fact. Opinion. It's my opinion that Aaron Rodgers... He Rogers, sat on the bench for three years. Greg, it's my opinion that Aaron Rodgers has a Super Bowl ring and Alex Smith don't. That's an opinion or did that actually happen? Like Mike, Aaron Rodgers has league MVPs. Did that you an opinion like or did like, that actually happen? Like who you like. That actually happened, like my nigga. Like. That's it not an opinion. It doesn't matter if they won the Super Bowl. If it does wasn't matter. The reason, if they wasn't the reason. Aaron Rodgers wasn't the reason they won in Charles Green Bay. Wilson, Greg Jennings, and all the other parts. Who was throwing them the ball? Team. Alex Smith? Brett Favre. <laughs> Brett Favre? Who, by the way, didn't win Super Bowl MVP. That was Desmond Howard. I really don't understand, bro. Why are you so enamored with these overrated people? No, I'm telling you facts that you're choosing to ignore. It ain't about being enamored with nobody. Facts is facts. Google the shit. It's right there in front of your face. Just because somebody won a Super Bowl don't make them great. Don't make them good. The don't make them the reason. Here. Get the fuck out of here, man. Reason, I got you on that one, but it don't make them great? It don't if put you, great it don't because put you the media down. says it don't they're put great. You, it's someone great because you say they're great. It's great because they won. That's a fact. I don't give a fuck about the media. The media didn't say Floyd Aaron Rodgers undefeated. I don't acknowledge him. That's you. That's a personal he opinion. He don't fucking exist. That's to a me. personal he opinion. Like the blip and fucking That's MCU. personal. That's personal. Nigga, what the fuck? That's personal. That's not a fact. That's personal. 
He's omitted. The fact is he's 50 and 0. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's in the record books. Hey. You could you could Google it. that shit. Floyd it. Mayweather, 50 wins, zero losses. That is a fact. Oh, if any of you don't like Floyd Mayweather, hey, that ain't no record book. Ninth grade, that's personal. And you in the twelfth grade? No. How can I really acknowledge you? Just because you choose not to acknowledge somebody, don't mean it's not a fact. Does it make it false? Hey. When you play, when you play in the NFL, you play to win. I feel it. Shout out to Herm Edwards. I you play it. to win the game. Aaron Rodgers has done that. You know what the NFL Patrick Mahomes has done that. It's a job. Alex Smith has not. It's a job. It's no different than when we went to high school. Yeah, it's a popularity contest. It's favoritism and bullshit and who like who and who know who. What was the goal of it going It ain't about who's the best. What was, what was the goal of going to high school? You could call it a popularity contest, who like who. Yeah, that's all the inner shit. But the goal of going to high school is to fucking graduate. Get your damn diploma. The goal of playing... NFL is to win the Super Bowl. Kevin Durant graduated twice, twice times, and nobody still respects his gangster. It's reasons why Kevin Durant people don't respect his gangster. It don't take away the fact that he got two rings. Don't take, don't take it away. It don't. We could, we could hate still, Kevin Durant still, all niggas day. Still, niggas still, that nigga, <laughs> that nigga, that nigga <laughs> hey, all listen, day. hey, listen, niggas can hate me all day. If I go home and I can look at my trophy case and see a regular season MVP. Two finals MVP, and I can look down on that little table right there and see two rings. Fuck y'all. That's the problem. Niggas give a fuck about what other people think too much. This man got, got a Super Bowl ring and a Super Bowl MVP, and you hate him for what? Because he took Alex Smith's spot? It ain't personal, dog. Facts is facts. I give no credence and credit to people that because it's personal spot, with you. Didn't earn their spot. How you did? They did not earn it. Deserve How did he not earn nothing. it? Why don't he deserve he it? Deserve to be left bench where he was. Why don't he deserve it? Because he's not good enough. You think he's not good enough? Not at all. You're crazy. Not at all. You're crazy. Not at all. You're crazy. Nowhere near. You're crazy. You're I'll crazy. Be, hey, I'll be that. I'll be that. You're crazy. And so was Nikola Tesla and Einstein. Yeah, I know. Einstein, the smartest man that ever lived. All right. Actually, that was Nikola Tesla, but you know, apples okay. and oranges, it tomato, is, you know. tomato, whatever. Hey, you're entitled to your opinion. Doesn't make it facts, but you're entitled to your opinion. Let's yeah. start getting on some people's heads, man, because you're tripping. I know. I'm going to let you go first. You know what? I can't think of nobody I got on, got to get on their head <laughs> right now other than the fact of the blind and delusional people who, who go off of what the media ESPN, Fox Sports, Twitter, Instagram, Twik, TikTok, and the rest of the <laughs> the bullshit that's worse than crack ever was to the motherfucking streets, the social media and internet. Mm -hmm. The blind followers mm -hmm. of these people that they want to anoint and crown. Mm -hmm. They want to force feed me Drake. They mm -hmm. want to force feed me Beyonce. They want to mm -hmm. force feed me Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm. They want to force feed me Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. I don't want your motherfucking genetically modified, genetically engineered Frankenstein fucking shit. I don't want your shit. So I'm going to just pass it to you on that. <laughs> Let's go there. Keep your fake Let's news. Let's go there. What are we talking about? We're, I'm talking about opinions over facts. Get on there. Facts is facts. facts. You can't dispute a fact. True. You could Google a fact. You could look in the encyclopedia for a fact. Go on the internet for a fact. Facts is facts. You can't do that for an opinion. If someone reached their facts, of their fictitious numbers <laughs> due to suspicious how, how, how or are auspicious, they fictitious? How are they if fictitious? Someone reached their, how are they if fictitious? Someone reached their facts what due makes to suspicious or auspicious <laughs> circumstances and reasons. This is coming from the same person. This is coming from the same person. Relevant and to believed. This is coming from the same person that. Always want to quote Jay Z. Men lie, women lie. Numbers don't. I ain't don't. said nothing about no rappers. It's over for that balling. <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> hey, and why is Jay Z relevant? Facts. Because of who because he knows. Because of who he knows. No, because of facts. Like a lot of people. It's because like, of like facts. Like ninety percent of America. So Jay Z wasn't a great rapper. I dare you to say he wasn't a great rapper. I ain't saying that. I dare you. But and, and I'm not, not, I'm not asking, not I'm and I'm not asking you who's not better. I'm asking you what. 
I'm saying that. So he didn't get to where he is being, from saying. being a great I'm, rapper. That's, that's not what I'm saying. What, I'm what, saying, you, what, what are I'm you saying? saying? Is that for as talented as Jay Z is, uh-huh. and as talented as Jay Z was, mm-hmm. still. Don't him say no, him, Still. Him, him knowing Irving Lorenzo, him knowing Earl Simmons, him knowing Damon Dash, him knowing Christopher Wallace, him knowing Sean Combs. What did that have to do with his talent as a rapper? Stop, I say Soul Pound. Why is Paris sitting, fa- Paris sitting Snoop famous? Snoop Dogg. Why is Kim Kardashian Snoop Dogg famous? Snoop Dogg no Dr. Dre. Because what does that have to do with Snoop Dogg? Who they know. Snoop Dogg no Dr. With, Dre. What does that have to do with his talent as a rapper? Ah, uh, whatever, bro. If you don't want to, if you don't, if you don't want to believe no, that no, this no. is about corporate mergers and alliances. So and talent don't matter. Like talent don't why matter. Why do you think North Korea is ostracized? Because they have no alliances. Talent, they have so, no allegiances. So they have no connections. So talent doesn't matter. They've been. Excommunicado. You're telling me that talent doesn't matter. I'm not disputing what you're saying. I'm not disputing what you're saying at all. But you're telling me talent doesn't matter. If talent mattered, look at Kanye West and look at Kyrie, Kyrie Irving. Talented as hell. <laughs> no. Talented they talent, as hell. They talent didn't, didn't keep them from saying, I'm not black, I'm OJ. Okay. But then you found out the real way. The chick was tall back. But Kyrie's still in the league because of his talent. Kanye West is still Kanye West because of his talent. Yeah, skill-wise, skill is still skill. Because if all else fails for Kanye West, you know what he could do? Kanye West could go get in the studio. He could make another album. And motherfuckers is going to play that shit. Kanye West. When all that fell for Kanye Kyrie West Irving, you gonna watch. You still gonna watch his ass on TV. You know why? Because he's talented as hell. For all of you tuners in out there to know what excommunicado mean, you know what that mean. That mean nigga. So yeah, ta- talent, you know what that mean. talent you know ain't got what nothing to do with it. Talent hey, ain't got nothing hey, to do with it. Hey, you know when John Wick gets scared? That's what mean. <laughs> that's what mean excommunicado mean. And, you know? talent, and talent ain't got nothing to do with it. And John Wick is supposed to be the boogeyman. He was the most talented killer of them all. Mm-hmm. What hey. is talent get him? Excommunicado. Hey, everybody on the a, run. Everybody have a bad day. A clock is a broken clock is right twice a day. Everybody have a bad day. Don't take away your talent because you know what opens all those doors. Your talent. Because if you ain't talented, ain't nobody going to fuck with you. That goes for sports. That goes for movies. That goes for rapping. Whatever you want to do it on. That goes for everyday life. If you ain't talented, ain't nobody going to fuck with you. You think Kansas City would fuck with Patrick Mahomes if he wasn't talented? No. I think they are fucking with an untalented quarterback. You're, that's just, that, that's, that's, that's an opinion. That's not a fact. Everybody has their own beliefs. Some people believe in... God, some mm-hmm. people believe in Yahweh, mm-hmm. some people believe in Jehovah, yep. some people believe in Scientology. Yep. And I believe the Holy Trinity. And I believe Patrick Mahomes is very talented. Somebody is practicing you false worship you out don't. there. And you don't. Somebody's a false prophet out there. Mm-hmm. It ain't Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Hey, Somebody's a street dreamer. They're not what they depicted to be. They're optical there, illusion. There's his whole quote. Why, why, there's his whole quote. Why? Why? Why you gotta pick a plan that you just gotta always go against, man? What is that? What's up with that? Ever since I know you, the world wanna know. Hey, you, all, you always gotta have. A, I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm about to answer that question. Um, G Greasy. Now, I don't know about everybody in this room, but. Everybody else can be lemmings. Everybody else can be sheep. Everybody else can be chattel. <laughs> and listen to what the universal mind control, the idiot box tells them to believe and what the media tells them to believe and what social media tells them to believe. I am unplugged. So I believe what I know that is real. What I know is fact, untainted, untarnished, uncontaminated, unblemished, by what society says is what is real. Mm-hmm. I don't go by a society standard. I don't go what fucking Mel Kuyper tells me. I don't go what Stephen A. tells me. You know, there are very, very, very educated people. They're very astute. They're masters at their craft. Mm-hmm. But just because they're masters at the, what their craft, like niggas telling me I should go get a vaccine, but I ain't sick. And I ain't had COVID once. 
But why do I need a vaccine though? No. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you telling me that Patrick Mahomes is great mm -hmm. is like them telling me I need a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Why again? Mm -hmm. When you created the motherfucking the, I don't even want to go into it. You can, know? I, can I can I can I can I have a rebuttal against that? I'm gonna I'm really have a rebuttal against that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak to both topics you just said. I'm not gonna dispute getting the vaccine. Don't get the vaccine. I'm not gonna dispute that. The only thing I am gonna say is that all those people who died from COVID probably wish they got the vaccine. But that's neither here nor there. Not going into that. Do what you want to do when it comes to that. You're your own person. When you're on to Patrick Mahomes. The media didn't tell you he was great. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. And yes, they do. No, they didn't. Every day. No, they didn't. He's so great. He's a generational talent. He's so great. He's so great. You He's know, so great. But He's you, so great. Make me want to throw up in my fucking mouth. I don't you know, want to hear that but shit. You know why? I don't want to hear lies. Do you want? I don't want to hear. But you know oh, what? Kelsey caught if the you ball, but it got if, tipped. But if you don't, or think, they caught a fluke but the ass fact, penalty. The fact, or some bullshit. The fact that you don't think he great means you don't watch the game. I, I watched all the games. I don't even watch football like that. One day it was just on. It's been a while since I watched it, football. And the game on, and I see, man, I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga, man? Because that nigga was going ham. Like, and I, and Mike, I already said something about him. I didn't know what, I wasn't even trying to watch it. But what did, I, I, but, I but, but what did you just say? I, you watched it. Yeah, you saw it with yeah, your I, own I, eyes. I watched it. Yeah, you know what I said? You didn't hear, you eyes. didn't listen to what the media said. Yeah, you saw it with your yeah, own yeah, eyes. Yeah, so off your, eye test. off eye test, your yeah. eye test, yeah. you think Patrick Mahomes is great, right? Hell yeah, yeah. Mike, off your eye test, you think Patrick yeah, Mahomes yeah, is great, right? So you got three people off an eye test that says this man is great. The first time I seen Herbert, I said, oh, that's one of them niggas right there. He is. The but he's not better I than Mahomes. Mahomes. I said, why is this fucking not, bum playing? Justin and Herbert why did not, they replace Alex Smith with him? But Justin Herbert's not better than Mahomes. That's your opinion. That's a fact. That's your opinion. That's a fact. That's your opinion. That is a fact. That's your opinion. Because you put Patrick Mahomes on the Chargers, I bet you they win a Super Bowl. I feel you. I'll bet any amount of money. They tell me fried ice cream is real, but if I put ice cream, we in the know skillet, fried ice cream is not you, real. If I put that's fried a, ice cream in the skillet, it's gonna we, fucking melt. We know that's a we know that's not real. That's a fact that fried ice cream is not real. That's a fact. Like Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes ain't fried ice cream. Patrick Mahomes was the abominable snowman when, with bugs when he said, "Gosh, George, it's really hot, George." Well, that abominable snowman got a ring. I feel it. Justin Herbert don't. Rich Paul got a job, but it's not his company. It's LeBron's. It actually is his company. If I have a company Clutch is not and I Le work. Clutch Sports is not LeBron's. If I have a company and I work and the offices of my work says I can't be an agent and a player and you the homie and I say, hey, Clutch, Clutch Sports is you not can LeBron's. run my corporation. That's like, that's like saying Clutch Rock Sports is LeBron's. That, that's like saying Rockefeller was Jay-Z's. Exactly. Rich Paul had to go to school. Right? Clutch Sports is LeBron's. It's Rich Paul's. Yeah, Where did he get the money? He made his own money. He didn't get that money from LeBron. He made his own money. All right. Just like Maverick that's Carter, like made, if just like Maverick room, Carter like, made hey, his own money. We, we, we trying to get on. They right got a. Now. They, they have a bigger. Right they but have a bigger like platform in this room. Sports, get on, bro. bro. You're not gonna look out for me, my nigga. You're not gonna put me in a position not to say where I'm giving a handout, but like, all right, my nigga, go be your own businessman. And that's what LeBron did with him. There would be no clutch sports without LeBron James. Oh, well, why, why you can't do that for your friend? That's what I'm saying. But we acting like Clutch Force is LeBron's. It's not. It is. It's no, it's not. Is. No, it's not. So why does Shannon Sharp, Sharp and everybody else say You know who the CEO is? of Clutch Force is? No. Rich Paul. He's the CEO of Clutch Force, right. not LeBron. He's the front man. He's the CEO. I feel you. What kind of time do you think he got to work? He's the CEO money? of Clutch Sports. Rich Paul, not LeBron James. You know who LeBron's agent is? Rich Paul. LeBron is signed to Clutch Sports. Rich Paul ain't signed. Everybody to signed to Clutch Sports and affiliated Rich with Paul Clutch Sports worked for LeBron James. They work for Rich Paul, my nigga. They all work for LeBron James. They work James. for Rich Paul. That is his company. I get what Finn's saying. Finn's basically saying that since LeBron can't be an agent because he's a player, he, he the one who really getting all the people in. Exactly. Rich Paul the face of the contracts, bro. No, that's what he's saying. I'm not, I'm not saying that, but that, that, I, I, that's, that's what he coming with. You know what I'm saying? LeBron name attract the people there. Like, you know what I'm saying? But Rich Paul got work, man. He got work to negotiate them contracts. You're not going to 
You think you LeBron know, out there work, you know, negotiating no contracts? contracts all the smart you think print, LeBron doing that? Print. That's what Rich Paul do, getting paid to read the small print, man. That's why, that's why they pay these people. Same with Maverick Carter on the shop. Everybody don't want to read Maverick it. Carter get paid to do all the behind the scenes small print stuff. LeBron is the face. But Maverick Carter runs that shit. Train for eight hours and then go read. So, you think Clutch Sports or the shop would exist without LeBron James? LeBron is the face. You need a face. You don't think he the financing year? You don't think he ain't got no say so? Bro, them niggas say. You do know Maverick Carter and Rich Paul are both billionaires too, right? Yeah, but Hey, Maverick, I don't want him on our shop. They friends though. Yeah, they probably like the same kind of people. Friends, fans, usually. Right. They friends. Usually they like the same kind of people. They're like this shop. They're like this stuff like saying this shop wouldn't be here if Greg wasn't here. Exactly. Right? They probably wouldn't be here, but what's the, what? What do we do? Like you know what right. I'm saying? He here. It's here. So we here. And they're wrong with the fact that LeBron is the face of all that stuff. But don't act like those other guys aren't the ones doing the work, running the company. LeBron don't run those companies. They do. Okay. They got to work for it. Chris and Neef, Owen Sparks. And, who, who and, and, and Petey Crack. Who and ran the Rockefeller? Who ran Rockefeller? What did Rock they really do? Who ran Rockefeller? Who ran Rockefeller? Damon Dash and Biggs. Jay was the face. Even though they were all, thank you for letting me Even though they were all, even though they were all part owners, because they all had an equal share in the company, if we really want to be real, Dame and Biggs ran the company. Jay was the face. Jay bringing the axe, man. Jay was the reason these motherfuckers said, I want to be on the rock. Right. LeBron, the reason why they said Dame negotiated the those deals. Dame sat in those meetings when Jay was making big pimping. I want I just want to love you. The blueprint. Dame negotiated those deals with Rockaware. Armadale, yeah, all that, yeah, because he was the behind the scenes person, even though he was all on the cameras and shit. But he was the one doing those business deals while Jay was rapping. Yeah, Finn, what's wrong with your Rich Paul and Maverick Carter are doing these business deals what? while LeBron is still hooping. Right. What's wrong with your What's wrong with your friend? You doing business with your friend, LeBron? I like any other basketball player. Man, man, he, he put if he put a nigga friend me the money. Or the part of my company is not my company. It's not my business. No. I wouldn't be in the position I'm in without him. That's not. That's so not. That's not, not true. It's not. That's really not mean. true. It's not. Really that's mean. not true. Like, that's not true. You wouldn't have. A, you, wouldn't have a, uh, 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 you know anything? If you get in the car, you wouldn't have the car the first day. If the bank didn't front the exactly the, the, the loan. Exactly. Uh, a house, a business. It's a difference between if you start in a business and you rich before rap, and you starting from the ground up. And ain't nobody else got no shares. Like, hey, hey, let's. Let me, they, let me, that's let me, what I'm saying. Me, they started me, from the ground let me, up. Hey, let me. Clutch sports let me, came from the ground let me, up. Let me, let me school y'all and our listeners. It's the difference between a sole proprietorship and a publicly traded corporation. Where if somebody else is an investor in my fucking company, that means they got say so. If they an that's investor, that's not true. I don't want nobody else having no say so. Not, not if, if you're a majority company, owner. If they're an investor, not if you're a majority owner. If you're an investor in my company, you have input because you put money into you have my input. company. I got the final. So therefore, look, let me tell you something. I have all do you, do you sole want, proprietorship, meaning do you like want, I'm paying for everything. Do you watch Shark Tank? And ain't nobody else. I, I do. Do you watch Shark Tank? So. Okay. So when those guys invested in a company, do you think they got full say so? No, they have input. You invested in my shit. I got say so. Okay, guess it's, what? It's still yeah, my I, shit. I you work for me. You right though. But guess the the reason why it depends on how much equity this person has in your. So you think LeBron got more equity in Clutch Force than Rich Paul? I think he has all equity. You're and, and Rich Paul is the only motherfucking owner in name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not letting nobody name be on my company if I got more equity. That's stupid. Oh, this is my business. I own 90% of it, but let's go ahead and put your name on it. Fuck you. It's my shit. My name going on it. I'm the majority owner. I'm not a LeBron fan, but I applaud him for putting his homies on. And giving them and giving them an opportunity to make money. That's, that's what he their, did. That's not their company. But how you know he gave them that's the money? That's not their company. So Clutch Sport is, is LeBron's. Clutch Sports is LeBron's. The shop is LeBron's. So Maverick Carter and Rich Paul don't have shit to do They're with that. They're flunkies. They're flunkies. They're sidekicks. Got you. All right. <laughs> hey, what's up?
Yeah. They're part of the posse. Yeah, okay. They're part of the posse. All right, Phil Jackson. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you put your people on for being a part of posse like that. All right, Phil Jackson. Stuff. Them the niggas he wanted to have yep. on the plane yep. on the Miami Heat. Yep. Well, man, LeBron is like the black. I ain't, the I ain't mad at LeBron for putting these niggas on and giving them ownership of whatever they get. He gave them ownership of. Salute, LeBron. We need more brothers like you doing that. I ain't saying he wrong for doing it. But I'm saying he is the owner of those companies. You don't know that. I don't have to know that. You're speaking in opinion. Here we go with this again. Your opinion is that you think LeBron owns those companies. The fact is, the we fact don't know. is, if I'm the smartest nigga in the room, the most educated nigga in the room, the most well spoken person in the room, the by most you, knowledgeable you, person you, in the room, you know the not most well, brilliant person in the room. How you know that's not why them? wouldn't the validity of what I say be held in higher regard than but wh- layman? How, how you know they not well spoken? How you know they not educated? Because you don't know them people. How you how you know they you don't know their background. Besides, they all went to school together. That's the only thing you know about their background. I'm not layman, and I didn't have to join a fraternity organization in order for me to be enlightened. Okay, and? Doesn't take away from the fact that Cluck belongs to Rich Paul and yeah, the shop is Maverick in, Carter. In, in name? In name. If we, hey, if, okay, bro, so if, I if we want to give a company to somebody in name. And I gave you the owner's deed. If we want to give a company to somebody in name. What name is I bigger you, than LeBron I gave James? You the building. If I want to, if if you want to give a company to somebody in, by name, name alone, what name is bigger than LeBron James? I feel it, bro. Rich Paul name ain't you're bigger than gonna, LeBron. Maverick hey, Carter name ain't bigger than LeBron. But hey. guess what? Their names is on those companies. And when you think of those companies, that's what you think of. When you think of Clutch Sports, Rich Paul. When you think of the barbershop, Maverick Carter. Guess what? Because he's on there more than LeBron. When I watch the shop, I see Maverick Carter way more than I see LeBron James. Way more. I feel it. You're not going to feed me processed meat and tell me it's organic and whole. I'm not going. I'm not feeding you processed meat. I'm feeding you the real deal. I'm because saying, you choose to ignore, I'm you're because LeBron's you choose to ignore facts, don't mean it's not Mahomes a fact. And the rest because you choose to ignore facts, the media for, just because you choose to, to ignore forefront, facts, don't make it not a fact. Like. Just I'm a real nigga. Just when I say I'm a real nigga, I don't just, fuck with process. Just because you choose to process ignore fact, don't make it not a fact. The people who everybody likes. That's, everybody that's fine. Everybody in society that's chooses fine. to that's put fine. and hold in high regard. That's great. I don't that's give excellent. a fuck about that shit. It all sounds, that shit don't mean nothing that's to a, me. That sounds beautiful. But just because, just, nigga, because everybody you, is wearing blue don't mean I got to wear blue. You Maybe don't I have wanna to. I want to wear fuchsia. You can wear fuchsia all you want. That's your own thing. Do what you want. It don't make blue not blue. It's all based on perception. No, blue is blue. That's perception not perception. Blue is blue. If you don't choose to wear blue, that's perfectly fine. Wear a fuchsia. But guess what? Blue is still blue. When I say <laughs> you can't it's change a fact, man. It's based on the color spectrum. You can't change a fact. You can't change a fact. Blue is blue. Blue is blue. Hey, you can't blue change is a fact. Blue, but if you put it under night vision goggles, it might be a different color. Mm-hmm. Or infrared that's or ultraviolet, it might be a different color. Mm-hmm. So what you got on right now, not blue? All right, then. In our color it, spectrum of our eyesight, guess it is blue. Okay, then guess what? It's blue. I feel it. On that note, guys, we're going to wrap this up. This has been real entertaining. Don't believe the hype. <laughs> don't, don't, don't believe the hype. Yeah. <laughs> believe facts. You can't change the fact. That's I don't give a I'm fuck saying. about a fact. I don't believe what the media feed me. Watch what you're watching because Fox is feeding you toxins. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my nigga Nasir Jones. Can't change the fact. That's where I'm going to end it. Um, shout out to all the people who support PTT, Recess LSR. Y'all Recess know the LSR, deal. Recess LSR, PTT, all black business. Support black hey, businesses. Man. Y'all know the Y'all deal. Y'all see these clothes. Mm-hmm. It's fly Come shit. Check out the shop. Fly shit only. Yeah, fly shit only. We you out of here. I mean? Until the, the next notorious episode. SKIP the Big and the Skill Big. Podcast. Yes, sir.